YouTube was good. It's gonna be the most annoying video. Uh, just all these bugs and stuff going on in the background, and I don't know what the hell that is ticking. I'm at a park. Uh, just figured it was better than doing it uh, at home because it's very noisy too, and it's just there's a lot more peaceful here. So this video we're gonna be talking about state inspection and what you should do to get uh, ready or how you should go about. And you got questioning, questioning, questions. Sorry for fumbling my words. You got questions on just the topic in general. So I'm pretty sure you're googling it on what to do. You're looking for your nearest state inspection station, uh, wherever you located at. Uh, me, I'm from uh, the Philadelphia uh, metropolitan area, but I live uh, in the suburbs outside of uh, Philly. So um, just within the city or within just where I live at, the township period, whatever, just the county. Throughout the whole state, we have a uh, shitload of uh, state inspectors that we can go to. All these uh, inspectors, they vary on price. Some could be like 30 bucks, some could be 35, some could be 40, some could be 45, some could be 60. I've been at places it was $80. It all depends on the shop and uh, what they can, uh, what they wanna make on their money. Dealerships, uh, they always do some type of deal, like a lifetime deal where they do just the safety only and try to talk louder. They'll try just to do the safety only, but make you pay for emissions, and they try to offer it at light time or something. Whatever, it's all kinds of deals, but what you should do to get ready for inspection because this could cost you money. And two, you wanna make sure your vehicle is maintained. So, um, I used to be, I was gonna get up and do a walk around, but actually I shouldn't. Uh, I used to be uh, an inspector, Pennsylvania State Inspector, uh, emissions and safety, and uh, not anymore, it's just, it's not by choice, but it's 50-50. It's I don't like inspections. I don't feel like I don't make money doing that shit. So to each his own. People got their own opinion on it. I said what I said. I don't like doing state inspections, so I won't be doing them. But you want to get ready for a state inspection with the things I will look for, uh, just doing an inspection or what, what I felt. I had to make sure the lights is working. All the lights on the car, all your side markers, daytime running lights. If the car came with lights, then uh, if the car came, if car came with lights, then they all need to be working. I don't care if it came with uh, 30 third brake lights in different locations. They all need to be working because they came with the car from the factory. So anything you add added on a car like aftermarket, I wouldn't worry about nothing like that. But whatever came from the car from the rip from the factory, all of the lights, all of the indications need to be working or whatever. Uh, tires, tires need to be good. Um, they always go for the lowest tread. So the, the in Pennsylvania, we take the, the tire with the lowest reading and jot that down. We don't worry about the rest of them. So we only care about the one that's the lowest. So you got one at two, uh, 230 seconds, then uh, that's your damn near borderline fell and some places will fail you. Uh, my thing is, uh, I mean, I don't, that's questionable. I'm, some, you need to be at a, a 130 seconds, 230 seconds, but if it came down to 330, 330 seconds, then I would try to upsell tires and press the, the issue that, listen, you leave out of here next week, your tires going to be lower probably. You need tires. So, force the sell. So, definitely get those tires. Uh, brakes, brakes need to be good. Uh, they do take the, uh, they take specs, uh, we call it specs, but specifications, we take note of each caliper, each brake. So, if the fronts are reading at 10 and reading at 10s and it could be bonded it could be riveted whatever if it's reading at 10s then uh the rares is at eight cool you good but if it's at let's say if it's at tens in the front and the rear brakes is at one if it's at one on riveted brakes it fails period no 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 I'll take it back somebody correct me I think if it's at bond, if it's at, if it's bonded and it fails at, and if it comes down on one, you can take your tread depth gauge and measure it. At uh, if it comes down on one thirty seconds on bonded brakes, then I think that fails. If it comes down to two on a riveted, then it fails or whatever. But most of these cars out here are bonded brakes. I really don't see riveted brakes like that. Maybe in like bigger applications or trucks or some shit like that. Probably I don't know. It's been a while since I saw uh, riveted brakes especially in cars like this and stuff. So what else I would pay attention for? Uh, oil leaks, check in, wait, let's see, oil leaks, anything leaking fluids underneath the car, your car coming in leaking, 
it's not the emissions is not the problem. The safety is. You're going to fail. They're going to fail you for having like leaks and stuff like that. Make sure that's taken care of or whatever. Uh, check engine lights. Let's talk about check engine lights. The check engine lights, well, let me go back. Let's talk about suspension. Your suspension needs to be cool. If it's something loose, if something don't sound right, do you think you fell? Yes, you fell. You didn't pass. You definitely fell. You got to get your suspension touched up or whatever. Leaking axle boots fell, whatever. Just if they hear something in the suspension and if it's something there and then they can point it out and they got evidence, you fucking fail. So check engine lights. So you can't have check engine light. You won't pass emissions. You'll pass safety, but you won't pass emissions. That's the federal shit right there. So um, emissions, uh, if it's check engine light, you got to get it taken care of. Uh, it's been cases where people couldn't get rid of the light no matter what they did to, re to fix it. The state inspection, they do uh, offer waivers and a certain technicians that or certain shops and certain technicians that have the waiver license. I mean, anybody could like apply for it and test for it or whatever if you want to get the license. But uh, they can approve it or whatever to a certain degree or whatever. But for the most part, no state, in, no, I mean, no check engine light, none of that or whatever. Your car running funny. Your car don't run right, don't sound right. You know you ain't passing state inspection. Um, ABS lights, airbag lights, that's exempted. That won't count. I think it's a, a big ass B right there. You won't fail because of those, so don't even worry about that. The only thing that's gonna stick is the check engine light. If you got an airbag light, as long as y'all your seatbelts work and they click, they good, you cool, your horn work, you good, all that shit, whatever side mirrors work you cool you got your side rear mirror your defroster button work wipers work um what else uh, this, uh tire lights don't fail just make sure you got air in your tire or whatever uh the abs and the traction control light or your epc light or or the vsc light or whatever fucking light they got out here that won't fail you just as long as your car stops when it's supposed to um that's all I got to say. As long as your ABS, if it's pumping all crazy too while you driving, the, you know, false within systems and stuff like that, or fucked up toner rings could make it do that or whatever. Yeah, you could fail because that's not safe. You can't stop properly. But it's exemptions to this. So, uh, you know, you know, make sure all your windows is cool. You can't have any cracks uh, in the in the windshields or nothing like that. No cracks in the side mirrors. No cracks in your lenses and the uh, tail light assembly and the headlight assembly. If your car, if it's the bumper fucked up, but you still got your lights, your fog lights still work, your headlights still work, or if it's vice versa in the back of the car like the tail light, if all your indication and your lights still work, but you got body damage, you still pass inspection. They just need to know on the safe side, does it run right? Does it sound right? Can we see? Uh, turn signals, markers, and all of that. That's all they need to know. So I, I hope I could cover as uh, much as I could. Anybody think that I left something out? If you're a Pennsylvania State Inspector, uh, please please leave it in the comments. What you thought I, I left out? I hope I was helpful. But I hope I helped out those who are trying to get ready for inspection, what to look out for or whatever. So I'm Leak Auto Repair. Uh, make sure you guys hit the like button. Make sure you guys subscribe and uh, just uh, highlight on the next video.